Welcome to our presentation, How Monte Carlo Works. This presentation is a part of videos on project risk management and risk analysis produced by Interver Institute. Interver Institute is a vendor of project risk analysis and risk management software Risky Project. Let's take a look at a simulation of project scheduling. Project schedule activities are linked to each other. For example, one activity can start only when the previous one is completed. Such relationships between all activities in the project schedule are called precedence network. Now based on this parameter, the critical path method will calculate detailed project scheduling, including the start time, finish time, and all the activities of the project. Critical path method is a scheduling algorithm that calculates the start and finish time of each activity, as well as determining critical path, floats, and other schedule parameters. Here is an example of a simple project schedule. Let's assume that you want to do the laundry. The question is, how long would it take to fully complete the two operations? You have a project schedule which is only two tasks, washing the laundry in the washing machine and drying the laundry in the dryer. The washing machine and the dryer have sensors. The sensors will automatically shut off the machine when the laundry is ready. Let's assume that both of them will shut off the following way. The low estimate is 30 minutes. The most likely estimate is 45 minutes. And the high estimate is 60 minutes. Monte Carlo offers a universal way to analyze your schedule. Here's how it works. The first step of the Monte Carlo process is to generate a random number for each task. Then based on this random number for each task, we get a value from the statistical distribution. In our case, we would get the duration of the washing or drying cycle from the triangular statistical distribution. Monte Carlo will take the values associated with the hump of the distribution that come up more often than the numbers associated with the tail of the distribution. Sampling will produce a sequence of values which can be taken from the probability distribution. Each distribution has a formula where the input is a random number. The output is the value, which in our case is duration of the task. The results are shown on the frequency histogram. The histogram is discrete, yet still resembles the shape of the original distribution, which in our case is triangular. The more iteration that we have, the more it is similar to the input distribution. Monte Carlo simulate, simulation of the project schedule includes five steps. One, generate a random number for each task. Two, get value from the statistical distribution. Three, repeat this process for all tasks. This way the duration value will be taken from the statistical distribution for all tasks. Four, we enter the duration values obtained from the statistical distribution to the critical path calculation algorithm. In our case, the total duration will be the sum of the washing and drying times. Five, repeat steps one to four. This will generate the statistical distribution of the project duration. The analysis says that there is a 90% chance that the project laundry duration will be 103 minutes or less. Monte Carlo schedule risk analysis is exhibited as a risk adjusted project schedule. A risk adjusted project schedule can be presented based on mean duration, start and finish times, or a particular percentile of statistical distribution of duration. Both original and risk adjusted project schedules can be presented on a, on a single NAT chart. In this example, the original project schedule, white bars, are shorter than the risk adjusted project schedule, gray bars. Thank you for watching How Monte Carlo Works. If you have any questions, please contact Interver Institute.